Do you know who Priyanka Chopra is? Yeah, she was yesterday. Um, she's beautiful. At the Golden Globes? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, okay. I was like, what are you talking about yesterday? No, you, so did you meet Joe? Did you meet Priyanka Chopra? No, but Chopra? she was standing like right here. She was beautiful. So. Wait, what? I covered the Golden Globes yesterday for me. You were at the Gold. You yeah. you met Priyanka Chopra yesterday. I mean, met her. She was next to me. <laughs> Are you goddamn kidding me? No. <laughs> well, what, what was that experience like, being in the presence of a goddess? She was stunning. I'm fully straight, but I was like staring at her the yeah. entire time. To be fair, I was also staring at Jamie Lynch the entire time. Oh my god. A lot of our audience also <laughs> loves Game of Thrones, so who did you see from Game of Thrones? Jamie Lannister. Um, everyone else was a blur to me. I don't really. I mean, Sansa and Arya were there, <laughs> but I saw Jamie first. Okay. He's the most beautiful man I've ever seen close up. Oh I, I'm just God. gonna say that. <laughs> He's hotter than he is on screen, okay. which rarely happens with actors. The most beautiful man you've ever seen in real life. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Hello people, I am Jabby Kawai, <laughs> joining me is Joanna Califatis, cover of the Golden Globes, <laughs> non-inviter of the Jabby Kawai <laughs> to meet the Priyanka. Anyway, why why are we talking about Priyanka? Because she produced Ventilator, yes. or at least was one of the producers, I don't know for sure. So I'm told by the Acharas. So we're gonna look at Ventilator, the trailer, with, uh, it's got English subtitles, so here we go. <laughs> बाबा <laughs> <laughs> अरे हे मग गजा भाऊ का सर कोण मला सर तर हे असेल ना <laughs> they're looking at the cat. Is that a cat scan of his brain? I think so. And they're yeah. like, and they're like trying to figure out which one is him, but it's that's they're all Ooh. him. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very interesting independent trailer. You know what? I like this though because I mean, this might be a personal preference, but I do like kind of comedies that take a look at dark subjects. I mean, he's on a ventilator, the ICU. <laughs> yeah, that is dark. <laughs> but it's it's a little morbid, but. It's a humorous take on it, on what goes on around it. Yeah, I mean, we're dealing with a small family. Mm -hmm. This is almost like the exact opposite of the other independent trailer we saw, which is A Death in the Gunjay. Yeah. Where this is a comedic take on a mm -hmm. bunch of people in a closed tight yeah. space. <laughs> but it's it's interesting. I, I forget what other trailer I've seen, but basically, you know, someone's life being threatened mm -hmm. kind of brings everybody together, and yeah. which is very r true to life. It's always a wedding or a funeral, right? That that brings right. a whole bunch of families together. Right. I went to a funeral not too long ago, my first Jewish funeral, oh. which is interesting. It was conducted by a rabbi, and I realized that I love rabbis. <laughs> like, I think they're <laughs> awesome. If you guys have never had a chance to meet a rabbi or an experience an event with one, you have to at least once. They're actually pretty chill, yeah. Yeah, they're they're pretty <laughs> awesome. I mean, because I grew up Catholic. Mm -hmm. I grew up in, you know, I'm, I'm no longer part of the church, but it's like the Catholic masses were just like long. And so totally derailed away from this conversation. Let's <laughs> let's get back on this. It, this is clearly like a very, very kind of small mm -hmm. film. It's an ensemble cast of people. Mm -hmm. And you're dealing with a lot, like a lot of kooky different characters trapped in the same room because they're waiting for this person to get better. I like the simple concept. It's not like crazy Hollywood or Bollywood. Well, that kind of ties back into the discussion we had about when it's a smaller film, you have to focus on the story and the characters. And I feel like it, in a lot of situations, it makes the story and the characters so much more real and complex and better because that's what the film is banking on. Yeah. What I always find interesting mm -hmm. are films where you basically have one location the whole time. Yes. You have to find a way to keep it interesting mm -hmm. the entire time. And it's not easy. I watched 127 hours. Hours. I which is oh yeah that was very difficult. I watched a movie called Tape. I don't know if you ever heard of that. No. With um who's the guy in Training Day? 
Uh, Not Denzel Washington or Ethan Hawke. Ethan Hawke. It was yeah. so there's a movie called Tape with Ethan Hawke, mm -hmm. all in one room. It, everything takes place inside of a hotel room. Right. There was a film called Open Water, it was just basically a husband and wife arguing the whole movie. So, in you, Open Water, have yes. you, yeah, have, <laughs> yeah. you, have you seen Open Water? You have, uh, you, you have an open. It you know, sounds okay. familiar for some reason, but no, I haven't. Ba seen it. Basically, it's a couple that's on a on a, some kind of excursion yeah. and they get left behind. There's sharks in the open water, and it's like they have to survive. And yeah, it's just them bickering. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean, I find it fascinating how you how right. do you perpetuate a film for ninety minutes and so but here you've got the benefit of having a multitude of characters mm -hmm. that are all kind of playing off each other I'm interested in these kinds of films because I find it to be very challenging I've actually attempted to write movies that are like this which all take place in one room and I find it very very hard because you can't rely on action you can't rely on plot no. you have to rely on just the interactions and right. make that as interesting as possible it's almost like a play and you can't even really rely on place and setting because I feel like especially the movies I've been seeing the last couple of years there are so many of them that the city they're in or the place they take place and kind of it becomes a character in the story almost. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you can't really hinge on that either in yeah. these movies. And, and like what you said earlier, it's very true to life. It's someone getting sick is bringing everyone together. This is, right. this, this is how it goes down in real life. So for all you youngins watching. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I do appreciate the yeah. comedic moments. It sounds a little weird to say, but when there is some kind of family, you know, tragedy or something going on, it's not all... I mean, I feel like a lot of weird things come out of the woodwork, you know what I mean? Because people... <laughs> You know what it's, I mean? It's not all morbid. It's yeah. not all morbid because, yeah. you know, when someone's like, for example, on the ventilator for God knows how long, you can't just be there crying the whole time. Like, you have, you know, little moments where you're trying to find, you know, have reminiscences. Or, like, you know, remembering happy times or just kind of trying to lighten the mood with your relatives. And, right. Yeah. What inevitably ends up happening in films mm -hmm. like this is because you're trapped in the same environment, yeah. like, after you get past the niceties, the ugly starts to come out. Oh, yeah. And for the outsider looking in, right. it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> for inside the family, that's why if you're with your family for more than like a week, you know, yeah. things start breaching a breaking yeah. point. <laughs> I love you, fam, so. Yeah. Anyways, thank you. <laughs> I just realized that you, why you just said that. It's like it went over my head for a second, and then came back. I was like, "Oh, I see." Um, I don't actually know how much of my family watches these videos, but I haven't. I haven't had to be trapped in the same room as them for, yes. for like like a long extended period of time mm -hmm. like this. But I'm pretty sure, especially my Italian family, it, it would get crazy. I've yeah. been actually I have been around that now that I think about it, because every time my dad was in the same room as the rest of his family for, mm -hmm. if given. Given enough time, hell would break out. Oh, hell yeah. would break loose. It's a matter every of time. time. It's not yeah. even if, it's just when that's yeah. gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, Italians are kind of hotheads. Yeah, great. And so, <laughs> you, I mean, you get what I'm saying. I it's like, it. eventually, it's just gonna get nuts. That was fun. Thanks, you guys, for hanging out with us. Uh, please check out Joanna Califatis on the social media. Yep. She is a writer of things, traveling, <laughs> and goes to the Golden Globes without Jebby. I do. To meet Priyanka. I might do it again next year with that for you, so I'll let you know. <laughs> She also does documentaries. You guys will have to be looking forward to that in the coming, in the coming months. And uh, those are on serious topics. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, check out other reactions, reviews, short films, and video game related videos. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Joanna Kalfatis. Peace out.